Life is truly wonderful under the sea. Greetings and welcome to Rubber Biscuit, the first of two special summer biscuits from Tanzania, East Africa. What are we doing here? You'll find out in just a moment. It took us 22 hours to get here. You'll be back in less than 30 seconds. Greetings and welcome to Rubber Biscuit powered by Team Sully Mac in Ottawa, Canada. Proof that it's the simple things in life that are the greatest here on the Rideau Canal. Beautiful day like this, lunch hour. You don't grab a coffee and a newspaper. You grab your skates. Greetings and welcome to Rubber Biscuit. Feeling like a million dollars with our friend Ray Bork. Where are we? We're in Danvers at my wife's spa uh, called Maison Estetique Christian Bork Spa. You look great. Are you feeling effervescent? I sure do. You look good too. Thank you very much. This and many other exploits for Ray since his hockey career ended and uh, we're going to take a look at them beginning right now. Welcome to Maple Leaf America in Aspen, Colorado, where it doesn't get much better than this. We'll meet a Hall of Famer from Sudbury, and we'll learn about one of America's most famous inventors. It's all ahead on this Florida edition of Maple Leaf America. The two of us grinded our way to the peak. Made it. Three porters and our head guide came with us. On the top of Africa, to our left and distant right stood enormous glaciers. The crater floor sat more than a thousand feet below us. For 10 minutes we took it all in and then departed quickly, absolutely spent and anxious for descent. Well, we're wrapping things up here in Big D on Rubber Biscuit and we have a, a delightful guest here, Garth Brooks. How the you hat, doing? the whole nine yards. How you doing? Not too bad. You, I don't think most folks would assume you'd be a hockey fan. No, most people don't associate with hockey. I'm lucky to be uh, involved with a Teammates uh, for Kids charity. It's the official NHL charity and uh, just here to witness these guys do great things for kids all around the world. You've been here all week, though. What have you thought of the uh, hockey and the festivities so far? Everything's great. you got to know whenever I come to Dallas, though, it's, it's a party. So they know how to do it right down here, and I feel at home down here, so it's good. Thanks for the time, congratulations, and uh, we'll keep an eye on you down the road. Thank you, Rob. Good meeting you. And do you want me to do a favor and stand up regular for the people so they can see just how dang tall you are anyway? Right, there it is, God. taller than his hat. <laughs> That's a wrap on Rubber Biscuit. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Val. Appreciate it. Time for yet another funny hockey fan photo, although this week it's more odd than it is funny, kind of. There's the late, great Terry Sawchuk right there with some suitors, if you will, or suitorettes, I reckon. Look at this gal here, hanging over the glass, trying to give out her phone number. I'm in 619 at the Cadillac Hotel. Honey, what are you doing there? Her husband's got a nice hat. And of course, this lady down here at the end, she's kind of waiting in line. She's a little frustrated. Her arms are crossed. She's like, gosh, I wanted to give him my phone number. I, uh, I'm spoken for, ma'am, but you are a nice looking coog. Hey, that's my sister! Lot going on here, lot going on here. You're supposed to keep your hands, feet, and everything on the other side of the glass. This stuff just doesn't happen nowadays. Just does not go on whatsoever. Like I said, not so funny, but kind of odd. Have you been in a hockey movie? Then why not? You're a huge hockey no. fan. No. Why? I think there's only been two hockey movies. Well, there's only been one in most people's movies. That's true. Right? That's true. That's true. You know what that is. I don't uh, know what that is. Any interest in ever doing one? I'd love to do it. it has, the story's got to be right, you know? What about writing it yourself? I'm working on it, maybe. 10 years down the road. <laughs> All right, you're a Rangers <laughs> fan, uh, Eastern Conference. I know we're kind of, it could come down to a, a battle later. Well, you know, I'm going to be pulling for it, but uh, I like your team. You do? I do. I like all the original six. I, I, I you know, if they, if they find themselves down the road in the playoffs, I'm always going to pull for original six. Do you think you could pull an all-time favorite Maple Leaf out of the hat? Uh, he's here. He is? Yeah. He's here? Uh, Mahavlich. Frank Mahav, yeah. Peter Mahavlich. Frank Mahavlich. Peter didn't play for us. Fra Frank did. Oh, but Peter's here. Peter's here. Yeah. His little brother. Ah. You like Peter? Well, I like all those Mahavliches. You do. You like Mainly because of that, I can pronounce the name. Kevin, the big question is, what other uses are there for an octopus? It's left up to your imagination. Beep, 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 Flight 619 coming in from Denver. Rasta, man, come to Jamaica, man. Come to Jamaica. To talk about multitasking, this would be the perfect employee. 
in the office, in the fast food restaurant. You can answer the phones, work the computer, flip the burgers, take the change, clean the garbage. Massage the boss? Well, that's not accepted here at Superior Fish. <laughs> Hey, next week we've got a good show for you on Pepsi Break Time with the Idaho Sneakers right here from the Bank of America Center. So join us for that. We'll have all of it for you, and we're looking forward to it gratuitously. I gotta go. Welcome back to the city of brotherly love. Leafs suck! You know, earlier in the show we referenced the fact that all the Philadelphia sports teams and their facilities are in close proximity, which can be very unusual and beneficial for the Flyers and the Phantoms. Go to hell! Well, it's, uh, it's finally happened. I'm officially in hell, and uh, I've got my friend Bill here. Uh, you live in hell. I live in hell. You do. How's that going? It's going just fine. You want to give us a tour? I can give you a little bit of a tour. It's, it won't take very long. The ice cream shop over here, and then you have uh, the party store up here yep. next to that. and. Uh, you got Handyman Jerry's over here, yep. across the street. Yeah, I was gonna say, what, what's this behind us? It's the Dam Site Inn. Yep. It's kind of a neighborhood get-together place. Yep. Uh, family dining and spirits. You're the waitress from hell? Yes, I am, the what, waitress from hell. What's your name? Liz Sahotsky. Say, say it again? Liz Sahotsky. Can you spell that for us? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. S-A-H-U-T-S-K-E. Must have been hell growing up. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh, what does it mean being the uh, waitress from hell? Are you really mean to customers? No, actually, I'm, I'm pretty nice to them. We just don't make any apologies if we're out of food or if we're out of ice. Greetings, I'm Rob Simpson in Burnaby, British Columbia, on the campus of EA Canada, where we'll take you on a crash course in the making of NHL 10, the ultimate hockey video game. Our behind-the-scenes tour will make many stops. Here, they'll take my photograph, turn it into a head, and then turn it into a hockey player. Next is mocap, or motion capture, the next step in building a hockey player. Later, we'll play a 12-person game of hockey, six on six, NHL 10. 